بِاللَّهِ مِنِ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ Alhamdulillah from the teaching of Allah, Allah's refuge is Sayyidina Muhammad Means if you want to be safe from shaitan then you must find yourself running towards the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and that is the cave of safety for every believer. If at any time in your life you think you're running towards the, the material world, they're reminding for us it's only filled with wickedness. That turn yourself away from that and run towards the love of Sayyidina Muhammad where we should be safe, our family should be safe. Allah's refuge is Sayyidina Muhammad Isn't that insanity? You will be captured and enslaved in shack. They come and they say, oh is this a shirk? It's a shirk. That's a crazy word to use and a very dangerous word to use. That when Prophet clarified in hadith in Nabi that I don't fear for my nation external shirk, I fear for them internal shirk. So there's nobody coming and saying that there's two gods, there's nobody worshipping their shaykh and worshipping their teacher, there's nobody doing any of the external shirk from Islam because Prophet's words are true, said, I don't fear for my nation because the aqal and the, the level of their brain, the level of their heart, Allah guards them from that. But what, what shirk are they in danger is when they judge Allah's creation. So the only way that you can make a shirk with Allah which Prophet was, stre was stressing in this hadith is in judgment. That's when the believer enters into a big difficulty with Allah That when a believer in this running to the cave, we have to remember that anytime you deal with Sayyidina Muhammad he saves people. Is rahmatan lil alameen. And anytime you're involved with shaitan, he wants to burn you. He wants to put you into a situation in which Allah's qadab, Allah's anger come upon that servant. And that's where shaitan leads. So shaitan doesn't take a believer and say, oh, Come on, think of this statue as Allah. So where shaitan whispers to the believer is begin to judge Allah's creation. That's Allah's job. So even the history of Islam, the Sayyidina Umar was, was coming with a, an aggression against Prophet at the door he turned into love of Sayyidina Muhammad Means that any time you don't know what secret Allah has within the heart of his believer and at any time it blossoms you're going to be ashamed. You don't know the darajat of that person, their nearness to Allah their nearness to Prophet as a result the turuqs are all the schools of manners. That's why these people are biadab, they are without adab. And when you don't have adab, shaitan comes and gets you to be burned. So he whispers into that person, the person says shirk and now they are in the biggest shirk. Because Allah is going to ask that, how you said that? You are judging my creation, you don't know anything about that creation, you don't know anything about yourself. So the person who utters something like that from their mouth don't even know the lords that govern them.
Have you started planning for the cost of post-secondary education? We will help you open a plan and access thousands of dollars in government grants. Give your child a head start with a CET plan. Did you know that it may be possible to start an RESP and not contribute any of your own money? Call today and receive 25 air miles reward miles when you book a consultation. Knowledge, quality, integrity. Star cares about your best interests and have a wealth of experience to match. We've been in the business 30 years and are here to lead you every step of the way. Whether it's building the custom home of your dreams, doing gorgeous home renovations, building a laneway home, or revamping your commercial space. The star process works. Just ask our hundreds of satisfied customers. We have several properties and the best thing about Star for Life Services is that the work is done in a very timely manner and we're always very pleased with the result. Star, let's make your dreams happen. Call us now to book your free consultation. If you think your Lord is, is from the heavens and you smoke, no, the, the Lord of tobacco is governing you because it's an addiction, you can't get rid of it. So you can't say Allah is your Lord, tobacco is your Lord. If drinking is governing you, you can't say Allah is your Lord, the alcohol is your Lord. If anger is governing you, you can't say Allah is your Lord, your qadab is your Lord. Means every attribute is governing the servant. So, taskiyah and the way that Prophet dressed the awliyaullah is take them into this hadith. Walk into my hadith means take them on a path in which they know themselves. So, as soon as you sit in the zikr, as soon as you sit in the company of the shaykh, or every type of complaint is coming to you where you weren't complaining before. And many people lose everything, everything, everything that they had, they lost it all. And they get angry, what kind of path is this? As soon as I, I, I met you people, uh, everything was dropped from me, yeah? Because those maybe were blocking you from who you are. They say, take an inventory, they have a program here for, for people who are in difficulty, 12 steps. 12 steps towards these realities. One of the most important and is in Islam is, is muhasab, is take account of yourself. Who do you think you are? I'm so such and such, I'm such a big, big, big one. As soon as you open up, say, look at yourself. Is it really you or it's just a whole bunch of broken inventory that you think identifies you? And none of that is in, in value to Allah what you going to do in the grave like a pharaoh, you want to take everything into the grave with you? So many of these things have to be pruned like a tree with too many branches, no fruit is growing. So they immediately come and begin to cut. Just the barakah of their presence, the barakah of their du'as, the Ya Rabbi this one wants to reach, you're sending them onto that school. No problem, I'm going to cut everything that distracts them from the way. So many things will drop from the sight of the believer. So not to be a distraction, again the hadith. Once you lose all these distractions, they say that as soon as I'm sitting, I'm getting very annoyed. I get angry quick, I shouldn't come because I, I get too angry. Well, that's the exact thing they were talking about. This nur has to begin to dress you, to dress you, to dress you. The first stages of that nur is the excitement, is happiness because it's, it's so different. 
But uh, wait until you begin to dry. When you begin to dry from this light, it begins to burn like the moth to the fire. That the nur begins to burn, you begin to get agitated at everything being said there. You get agitated by everybody sitting around you, you get agitated by the zikr, you can't concentrate in the zikr, you can't concentrate in your tafakkur, you can't concentrate in the salah and exactly that's what they want. They want to agitate you in every possible direction and then begin to teach you make your tafakkur, make your contemplation. The contemplating by the ocean on a nice sunny day is, is great, that's easy, my children can do that. But contemplate when everything is screaming, everything is upside down, everything is in chaos, every type of difficulty upon you and your heart has to still be in their presence. At that time the heart is, is, is secure, it's solid, it's love is bond, it bond with the shaykh, it bond with Prophet it bonding with Allah they pray and very little distraction comes, any type of distraction in the room and still there's no distraction within their heart, there's a tranquility within their heart. This is the training. Only when they get through the garbage of dunya then they can begin to understand who they are because all this garbage is there. If you think that garbage is you, that's completely false. As you make identity, we make identities of ourselves. I'm so and so, I did like this, I served here, I'm like this, I'm like that. None of that will be accepted in Divinely Presence. Allah make it to be qashiya, to be like dust. When all of that is crushed, at that time then permission of Prophet and that energy come to awliyaullah and they give permission that bring that servant now up higher. That they've been trained through tafakkur and contemplation, they've been consistent in their practices. That every time you're agitated be consistent and never show on your face any characteristics. Always smiling, they beat you left, they beat you right and you're always smiling. Allah who's, who's better, the one who's happy on a broken path? or making every type of emotion, every type of like a two-year-old child wanting attention. So everything in the character will be, will be trained. That that character when it's so clean, so pure, at that time the khash begin to open. When their heart begins to open just glimpses, just glimpses of light. Did you know that your child may be eligible to receive up to $10,000 in government grants to pay for his or her post-secondary education? My name is Sikandar Hayat. I am here to help you. Call today for a free consultation. Many people come and see me saying how difficult it is to get into the market and buy your first home today. At Shah of Kukutlam, we have a range of solutions that helps you find the perfect home that fits your needs. For over a decade, we have helped hundreds of clients from first time buyers to seasoned investors achieve their goals. We also provide free seminars and workshops so when the time comes you can make an educated decision to set you and your family up for life. Whatever your needs are, whatever your goals are, come and see me. My name is Shah and I can help you find the perfect home. So every reality that Allah, Allah want to dress is in reference to Prophet 
So when these people come and say, this is shirk, they say, what are you talking about shirk? One, you're in big trouble with Allah If you could get past that understanding and say that one aspect of following a shaykh and to be in the schools of tarbiyah is incorrect. Surat al-Kahf is describing the relationship between Nabi Musa salam and Sayyidina Khidr, that is our guidebook. The whole dialogue is that he comes to Sayyidina Khidr and says, I want your company, he says, you can't accompany me. How can you have patience with knowledge that you don't have? And gives the adab, he's even giving the adab for these people. They come and say, oh we want to sit with you, you can't sit with me, you have no patience. Why have no patience? Because you don't even know anything. Everything I say, you're going to object. As he gave the rules, he said, even you come with me, don't talk. You have no permission to ask a question until I give you a permission to talk. Kalimullah who could ask the knowledge and receive the information directed by Allah go to one of my servants. Is that shirk? So because they have no mind, there's no thinking that Allah wants humility. Even you're talking to me, above every knower there's another knower. If I want you to dress by that knowledge, I want to see your humility. Be humble, go and seek one of my servants. So it's an accompanying a servant of Allah seeking a servant of Allah is not a shirk. It's from Holy Qur'an, it's a command from Allah You move from the highest reality Allah for that reality you have to have a supreme adab. And he came quickly said the adab, you want to accompany, don't talk, don't ask a question. Because question coming from your mind and from the sickness of your mind, this is a reality that's going to be deposited into your heart. With good manners and good character you shut your mind. That's why the zikr will, he will pirate the head and begin to give them hallucinations, imaginations. You think he can do it Hollywood? He can do it into your room. All they do is a jinn come and touch your head and immediately you have visions like TV. So, la illallah, la illallah, la ilaha illallah, nothing but Allah into the heart. At that time that ocean of tawheed begin to dress onto the servant. That you, you trust in nothing but Allah that Allah's hand is in everything. You got fired, it's in Allah's hand. You got a job, it's in Allah's hand. Every zalam that comes into this earth, nothing can happen to you that not written by Allah No rizq can come to you that not written by Allah No rizq can be taken away from you that not written by Allah So the believer is just waiting for, Ya Rabbi when are you going to write it? So through sabr and through their zikr, through their practices, they patiently await what Allah want to write for them. When they understood that, that sabr, that reality began to dress upon them, began to dress upon them. So they teach that first zikr, Allah in Allah, Allah in Allah, Allah in Allah and bring the servant into the oceans of tawheed. With that reality they're beginning to open all of these good characteristics. There's no shirk, all of that is, is from the bad characteristics Allah describing in this holy month how to accompany that reality have to be dressed by that reality, only the schools of good character can bring that reality because it's the heart. The heart has to be based on muhabbah, has to be like a flower that has a sense of love and as much as it loves it's taking in the sun, it's taking in the rays. As much as that heart closes, becomes anger, becomes filled with bad character, none of those rays can reach to the heart to make it to blossom. You want the rahmah? In this month run, run into that cave. You want the adab of how to accompany? Then read Surah Al-Kahf and it gives us the adab of how to accompany only Allah and the people of the Turuqs inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifu wa salaam ala al-mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basir Surah Al-Fatiha.
Have you started planning for the cost of post-secondary education? We will help you open a plan and access thousands of dollars in government grants. Give your child a head start with a CET plan. Did you know that it may be possible to start an RESP and not contribute any of your own money? Call today and receive 25 air miles reward miles when you book a consultation. In Pursuit of Angelic Power, the newest book from author and traditional Islamic scholar Sheikh Nurjan Mirahmani. This book teaches the reader to develop healing energy through divine and angelic power. Understand the origins of energy through light and sound, and learn essential techniques of chanting, meditation, and breathing. This masterpiece, which features over 300 full-color images and diagrams, explained in an easily digestible manner. Order your copy today and enter into the oceans of angelic power. Available in-store and online through Amazon and Indigo Books. In Pursuit of Angelic Power, the newest book from author and traditional Islamic scholar, Sheikh Nurjan Mirahmani. This book teaches the reader to develop healing energy through divine and angelic power. Understand the origins of energy through light and sound and learn essential techniques of chanting, meditation, and breathing. This masterpiece, which features over 300 full-color images and diagrams, explained in an easily digestible manner. Order your copy today and enter into the oceans of angelic power. Available in-store and online through Amazon and Indigo Books.